Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of HCZ. So, as you guys have read by the title, this is in fact the release of the map. Um, so, if you guys are interested in playing for yourself, um, I'm going to show you guys how to download the world and how to set things up properly. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, or if there's some bug fixes or some bugs that need to be fixed, um, leave those in the comments below or message me on Reddit. So if you want to skip to how to download the schematic, uh, that'll be later on in this video, and there will just be a little link or annotation above. All right, for now we're just going to worry about the world download. So <clears throat> for the world download, um, you will get this seed, this exact world, uh, with this grass and that mountain and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> you can find this world um, downloadable in the uh, link in the description and I will just show you here um, this is where it will bring you to it'll bring you to the planet Minecraft page and my page um, all about HCZ it's got a couple pictures here of you know just what you saw in general and uh, HCZ overall so once you come down here there's a couple of uh, intro stuff and you just click uh, Minecraft World Save so that is uh, the button right there and it will give you a file that looks like this so this is a zip file uh, HCZ zip uh, 1 right so that's that's what it's going to give you um, so you just double click this I open it with the un, I, un archiver I believe or archive utility apparently uh, but you can get the unarchiver relatively uh, you know free it's it's all good um, so it'll give you HCZ season 1 um, right here uh, this is just the the world itself um, this is just kind of what you get uh, with a normal world. So what you're going to do, uh, if you're on a Mac anyway, you're going to go to library, um, you're going to go into application support, you're going to find your saves folder, which should be right, nope, we need to find Minecraft first, then our saves folder, uh, which is down here, and then we just put our HCZ season 1 into this folder. I already have it there, so I'm not going to worry about it, and I'm going to throw it in the trash. Okay, very cool. So um, then you'll go, I guess, you'll come back here, um, you'll go single player HCZ season 1 or it'll say HCZ S1 I think you come here you'll load your world and you will spawn right where I started the video over here okay so that is how you get the world download very straightforward for the schematic um, this is for MC edit right so if you guys know how to MC edit uh, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pop over here uh, we have the MC edit schematic folder um, both of these will link you to I believe my media fire um, in this folder here um, <clears throat> or whatever, but uh, as you can see we have HCZ zip, this is the world download, and the schematic is the schematic. So the schematic will bring you to uh, this file right here, which is what you want. You're going to open up your um, <clears throat> MC edit, and um, whichever world you want to create, you're going to go into your thing, into your Minecraft, we're going to create a new world, we're just going to call this test, and we're going to make it uh, creative because I don't want to deal with anything right now. So that allows us to have our cheats on and all that good stuff. So we are in our new world now. This is our brand new survival vanilla world. Um, now, what you're going to do, you're going to save and quit to title. It's going to do that. You're going to come over here. You're going to hit quick load. And this will be our test. Okay. Uh, this is the world that we were in before. Uh, what we're going to do now is we want the schematic in our um, config file. So we're going to go hit config files down there. Um, and then we're going to hit the schematics folder. Uh, once we get our schematic, we're just going to um, click and drag the schematic here. Just like that. So HCZ Season 1 schematic. We're going to close that. We're going to go to back to our test. Now we're going to hit the number 6. Number 6 will bring up our schematics. As we can see, we have Season 1. And you can put this wherever in the world you want. Um, I would recommend keeping it within the 2000 by 2000 world border um, because this does automatically put up a world border from negative 2000 to positive 2000. So let's say we want to put it here. Uh, this is where we will have our, uh, our HCZ. This is where the uh, thing will be. And we hit import. Very cool. We'll save that. And we will go back into our world over here. So now we are in our world, okay, and we get a whole bunch of messages. That's just the game um, command block output, but there is a automatic turning that off. There's a command block that'll turn that off after a few seconds. Okay, so now we have everything here and everything's looking fantabulous. All right, let's explain all the features of what you got here. 
Um, over here we have our How the Game Works. You guys got a bunch of books uh, that you can read. Um, just like in Season 1, Welcome to the Apocalypse, you can go through all that and see what giants do, see what, um, you know, all those cool mobs do. Now, you have the option of turning on or off mob griefing. Uh, this one will enable it, so when pigmen explode they will make a crater, or you can turn it off and that one will make it so that there's no crater. Same thing with grenades, it's all the, the same thing. Um, hitting this button will make you guys be spawned together, but you only get one kit. So if I want to do that and prevent the lag, which I really recommend hitting this button, um, you will all be spawned you know, relatively in the same block and um, you will be spread out throughout the world. I do recommend doing this because when you are spread out, excuse me, throughout the entire world, um, things can get to be very laggy. Um, it has to update a whole bunch of entities all at once and you're all in different chunks so it's loading and yeah anyway um, but if you really want to and you think you have a beefy enough server go ahead hit this button and you will all be spawned apart and you will have to find each other okay um, this one will start the game we'll go to that in a second but uh, that's all you need to know is that will start the game um, over here we just have a couple signs and the people of the original series um, if you want to watch the series you can just click on this link right here um, you just right click the sign and then click that and you're good. Now over here um, on the last wall with actual stuff on it is the chunk loader. So the chunk loader, um, basically what it's going to do is I'm just going to hop back here. The chunk loader is basically, oh wow, we spawned right next to one of these things? That's cool. Um, the chunk loader um, with this switch here will turn it on and off and I believe if I turn it on I will get teleported around. But anyway, uh, what it does is it just um, teleports you um, around from negative 2,000 to positive 2,000 um, and it'll go from basically so if you can imagine this is negative 2,000 and that's positive 2,000 you'll go up and around like this over and over and over until all the chunks have been loaded and then you'll kinda just sit in this corner right here without anything to do which is why you'll need these coordinates and you will teleport yourself back so there's the reminder to start the clock what you're gonna wanna do is turn this on okay good and you will teleport yourself to negative 2000 uh, 105 negative 2000 if you guys want to know more about the chunk loader um, you can check out this link right here um, I can't remember the name of the guy I got the idea from but it is not my idea and I don't take credit for it so remember to turn off this lever when you're done so I'm just gonna spawn quickly in um, it will reset your game mode and do all that good stuff make sure especially if you do the schematic that the clock is on so I believe it should be on wow okay yeah it should be on considering all this is on um, but you can always just test with a slash say hi command and in fact it is on as you can see there's a lot of lag going on so we will just try it anyway so you click the button and you'll be spawned randomly in the world These are moving along and we'll come back once things are loaded there we go that actually happened right away now um, don't move until you um, change your game mode is changed, your inventory is cleared, and you get a box above your head. So you will get a little box above your head. Oh, another ice box? I think we're really close to where we were, right? 63? There we go. All right. So as you can see, the box popped above my head. Uh, we do have a spawn kit here. And there's the book again in case you're confused and really don't know what's going on. Um, as you can see, this does take a big hit on the server and will prevent, will cause a lot of lag, as you can see. By the way, I've done a couple of changes um, to Giants uh, in particular. Um, so what happened is we were doing another game test and when the Giant would enter the water, uh, there was a bug where it wouldn't be able to stop moving or change directions when in the water. So it would just go, let's say from here all the way to the other side and now if you're in a big ocean the giant would disappear and you wouldn't be able to find him anymore so that was kind of a problem what I did instead is I just had the giant um, I gave him a little platform underneath him of leaves alright so as you can see once he starts to walk on the water there is a little platform that actually uh, is from leaves and these leaves um, do decay over time which should replenish uh, the whatever you're doing so this giant will continue to do whatever he does best and uh, he'll just walk around uh, nonchalant like and uh, yeah so I would not recommend bringing giants to water or trying to drown them 
uh, that will not happen and you will just end up um, you know being out sped by the giant so if you ever find yourself and you don't know where spawn is and you know what's going on and you know how to fix something but you don't know where spawn is for some reason you didn't mark down the coordinates all you have to do is slash tp um, to an armor stand named spawn and you will be teleported to these little guys right here which um, are right under the commands regarding the spawn chunks loader guy um, loading chunks is very stressful on your server or on your computer in general so if you find it should teleport you relatively quickly and I found that on my realms um, I used a realm to to do this uh, not season one but for a, uh, a different HCZ and I really found that it would go really fast for a while the chunks would get loading and then there would just be so much stress on the server that um, it would slow down to a point where you would get kicked from the server and the server would just crash uh, I had to contact Mojang about that and actually get them to force reset my server because nothing was working. So I would recommend that you load about, you know, until it starts slowing down, you exit your realm, give it five minutes, or exit your uh, computer, give it five minutes, and then come back and continue loading the chunks. Um, loading the chunks is really can cause a lot of lag, especially if they're new chunks and you've, uh, you know, spawned yourself somewhere different in the world. Okay, guys, so. Again, I hope you enjoyed watching the series. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you enjoy playing this. Um, I hope things go well for you guys. And again, leave a like if you enjoyed the series. Uh, we will be doing a season two at some point, and I have a couple other HCZ videos of just entire seasons where um, you know I just threw in one one video. So those will be coming out soon. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy uh, playing. And yeah, comment below if you have any questions or concerns or if there's a bug that needs to be fixed. Okay guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time.